All right, you hear this? Oh, that's right. This is, oh man, and he's so mad. He gets so mad, that's Steve Law. From the laundromat, the soapy sides. Oh my God, this is reverse. Uh, Racism. Gave the people money and put it in another one. He's bashing. He put a sign on the motherfucker, lifted the thing up. It's over a stupid thing. Oh my god. It's Yeah, I ain't gonna do it. I just told the owner I'm not gonna clean that shit. Yeah. So how's it going in France? Yeah, so this is the guy. He did not allow me to come use the bathroom during the COVID times, even though I had, you know, I come here a lot. It's the subby studs. It's the same place that YouTube, right? Banned a video of a news incident and they're gonna give it back to me, right? Now that you saw that, because you know he was talking about, he's talking about Pedro. He's got trouble with Pedro violently. He told me once that Santa Barbara, it's, it's a racist town, they, that they were against him while I was wearing my Black Lives Matter. Steve Law, we used to be friends. He wouldn't let me use the bathroom once the COVID started. He always thought I was sick. Now I know. He doesn't agree with my Cypress Hill. Dude, these are your customers and you're bashing Mr. Steve Law. Like that? You're making that kind of Aggression over, he, he left a sign in the wrong place on one of the things, one of the vents has too much lint in it? Whoa, human effort, please. This is a soapy studs, soapy studs. Call the cops on that, or at least be witness, because He's gonna, he's gonna make some big deal. Gonna make Pedro's life difficult. And Pedro was the one who said it was okay that I could sit there and play the cello. Remember when I was trying to get the people to give, oh, they chased him away. He'll be back. There was a nomad here. Steve Law chases him away, meanly. He yells at him. Anyone watching my channel knows I don't like it when you yell at me. I don't like it when you take down my art when it's showing that you're yelling at people. You're gonna be doing that all night long. I've seen you do that to the homeless who have the day before. Maybe, okay, they did one wash. You can't make, they did the wash. And they sit there and they're very nice and they're discreet. And they allow the nice, the, the humans, we can come and talk to them and help them out. You're just worried that everyone has the COVID and you only allow your being elitist. But this is ridiculous. You're, you're trying to make him lose his job when you talk like that because it seems like it's some big deal. He made one little mistake. He's been here running this place before you. All right, he's, he got his, he got his whatever on. What's that, did you, did I say Pedro? Pepe. 
All right, let's see what he's got to say about Pepe. This will be just hearsay. You understand, this is life. You're gonna hear it. I've done videos like that. The person incriminates himself and they'll listen to it and they'll be like, that's hearsay. I'm not going to be a part of it. Oh, I get it. So, he's, he's not going to let the motherfucker. Pepe, sorry, Pepe. I hope that you are feeling better. I heard that ulcer came back. I mean, that's why you maybe weren't feeling too well. You made a little mistake. Whoops. I hope your wife's okay. Do you want me to pick you something up at um, El Cito? All right, yeah. Forget about this guy. You know, I'm walking away from him. But you heard, he's just, he's thinking you're gonna take down the empire of the Sobizats. Oh my God, like, like these people told me, stop bashing us. And I said, I wasn't bashing you. I was just saying that you, you don't have bows. I, I needed a cello bow and I'd been coming to you your store, I forgot what you're called. Jensen, sorry. You know I still love you. It's just, I've been coming here since I was a little boy. And you guys like won't let me in, but you don't even have. I mean, Eddie Van Halen would have been so pissed off if he'd come here and found that. Anyways, subscribers, since you didn't put in a dollar, you don't get to go to this place. This place has the best pasta. We don't go there anymore. It was, it's been there since the 80s. Yeah. They don't let anyone use the bathroom, even their employees. I'm not gonna let it go. That's how they do a first amendment audit. At least, so I got my hand on the mace. I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna go, right? But they're not gonna know what I'm talking about. Talk to what? Really? Yeah, it's a first time I'm in audit. This is, welcome to America. This is for France. Alors les Français, je vous amène en Mexique. Yeah, no, I got it for my lawyers. Do you see that Steve Law is on some sort of, he thinks he's a Scarface right now. And you hire up corporate Take down what? He lost a machine. There's one machine that doesn't work. There's enough other machines there. Oh, let's look at this. I love the sound of Mexican TV. Check it out. Did you hear it? It's so much more mellow than American television. It's so ah, all European. I think it just, because it sounds like French. And everyone says, oh, it's because they have crappy equipment or whatever. Yeah. So we don't know how to do that. We just go, okay, we won't, you know, you got to buy this best thing. It's just so, no. It's so, more, it's so much warmer and unique. And there's other reasons. There's talent and non-censored things. When you're non-censored, art just anything, even a bad soap opera. Oh man, I love it, the bad lighting. It's like in 2D. Oh, it's so great. Is it? Vizio would like you to know that this 24K, it's not our fault. It's the, uh, it's Telemundo's fault, you guys. All right, I'm gonna show you the menu so you can choose. I give you everything on this channel. I do everything for you. Oh yeah, that does look good, I'll tell you. The taco bado. I'm going for it. I got money. It wasn't from you subscribers. No, it was my mama. I broke down. Somebody said give. Somebody did put one dollar and said call your mama. Get on your hands and knees. She said go have some meal on me. So here we go. Uh, brochette de Cameron. Oh man. Yeah, let's go for it. Who are we getting this for? Oh, Pepe, what do you do? You can't have the hot peppers, Pepe. Yo. 
You can't have the beer either. Yeah, I know. I have an also too. Bummer, huh? It's a it's a shitty way to get sober, I know. Uh, but when you have to, you have to. Okay, what are we talking about here? A torta de chili relleno? I just need cheese, bacon, sausage, tongue. They have a thing here, Pedro. No, Pepe, I'm sorry. How are the kids? Uh, they're back to school now, right? Uh, everything's online. Oh no, I heard in New Jersey, you're allowed to take your cat out. Yeah, the cat's okay, your kids know. Ah, uh, this COVID. Mikey, man, you would have, I'm missing you, Mikey. You would have, uh, you would have, you would have just been having fun with this stomach, fried pork, with this COVID, right? It's the ridiculousness of it all. But I'm loving it. When it's all over and they just say, all right, you got to take off your mask. I will never go out in public, but looking like this. Family gatherings. Michael Jackson, he might have had, you know what I mean? If you just left him, uh, media, if you just left him and not called him wacky about wearing his mask, he would have kept it. He wouldn't have had like such a hang up about his nose. He would have just done all his shows like this, right? Why'd you make fun of him? UT channels. Uh, all right, what are we getting? What do you want? Can I get a torta the chili relleno? A torta the chili relleno? He didn't know. I asked the cook. He was like, he didn't understand my accent. I have First Amendment him. They're scared now. They're calling the cops. What's that? I can't hear. I got the sunglasses on. Man. Uh, thank you. Torta, right? What? Torta. Torta, yeah. Is that a bad idea? No, what would you get? What would you get? I want, I, I want you to get. For, for the channel, what, what would you get? If it was like, I, I want it to be like home, hometown, like if you were at your house, what would you make? Uh, I always get asada or carnitas. All right, I want that. I'm, I'm not, which one? If, when you're depressed, if you were depressed, which one of those would you go carnitas? for? All right, perfect. I can't pronounce it. You see furry potato, I didn't pull out the mace. Thank you. See, it was the same price. You know what I mean? It didn't really matter. I love it. When, when there's money, it doesn't matter. Thank you. You're glad. You're glad I'm eating because say goodbye to France from Mexico and California, from the Californians. That's right, Joe. I called, I called Joe Kaiser. Did you see I called SNL? Did you see I called Lauren? Do you know what I said to Lauren? Did you hear what I said? I said, take off every episode of YouTube that makes fun of people who are from California. Yeah, we're so sensitive. Yep, so I'm going to take that accent and say that my accent is the way the Californians are. I'm only going to keep from your bit. Maybe when Coenga uh, reaches Mulholland Drive, Mulholland Drive, things like that. When uh, take the route, you know, 66 over to Malibu. Go watch that, uh, the seals at the 
Oh, uh, this was so perfect. And then I had to screw it up, huh? Let's get back into the zone. We're leaving you here at the Regal Cleaners. We're waiting for some food. It should be delicious. I'm gonna put it in another video. It's just gonna, it's gonna say food porn. It's gonna disturb the algorithm, the computer, when it sees it uploading it. It'll be banned for a day. Then it will be, I don't know, put back up, this one, you know, because food. They might deport the two people that I filmed. I don't know, shit happens. I won't have anything to do with it. And I really doubt that's gonna happen, but that's what people fear, I believe, when they're being, they don't wanna be filmed. Like the guy who said, don't be spooking me. You better not be spooking me. You guys still haven't written what, what did he mean by that? That's it, that was the show. And like usual, I was able to screw up at least one part right at the end. It's because I got nervous. Why do I get nervous? It's that girl. Uh, I need to learn Spanish now. Oh man, so I got Italian on one side. I got the French, I got to work on, yeah, Spanish. It's time, these are my people. Santa Barbara, California. It used to be Mexico. I love Mexico. Did you hear the um, Armenian that's across at that 76 station? right there on the Della Vina, when he was saying, I said, I, I gotta get out of America. And I was going thinking, you know, Canada, France, but he went Mexico. And I went, wow, but right before, in the midst of the COVID, the Mexicans were, they were washing their feet instead of washing their hands. And I said, oh, now that makes a lot more sense than this washing of the hands. Because if there's another virus that's brought in by like feet, and there is one like that, right? Isn't it better that they're really being sure that, and they're washing their feet before someone comes into their house. I just see villages like, wow, it's probably COVID free. And also really spiritual and stuff. They don't need the masks and stuff. Why can't we do that? Let's make a bigger sign that says, wash your hands. That place that we've been going to since the COVID before or afterwards, there's no difference. They haven't been washing their hands more or less or anything, you know what I mean? There's nothing there to really change. So it was proven in the experience of two years of going there back and forth that you didn't get the COVID that way. And the real proof was that one story I told you, there was a Texan fracker, like it said fracker on this truck. They come in to start fracking to club some seals, right? To do this thing to redo 1969 on the beach here in Santa Barbara. There was an oil mishap that took them way too long to fix and it reproduced itself in, in this past decade. Seals, all blackened, uh, every sort of bird, anything that was white. Now people are saying, are you making some sort of, are you going back to Steve Law? That was the beginning of the experiment, yeah. The protagonist is not a racist, is not a drug addict. The protagonist has mental issues. But you see that I love all the locals who know me, who I am, and they know, you know, I'm not a bad guy. But this Steve Law, he's known me, and somewhere in the COVID, he switched. And there's something happening here where he wants this other man to be. Pepe. Pepe, he didn't, right? You've never done anything. You guys never crossed paths. He made a decision. I believe that's reverse racism, isn't it? So please, people, start putting things in the comments about this if in your town, because I believe if just, I mean, this is the only occurrence in this little golden town of Santa Barbara. You're seeing the one occurrence. We're the 1%. If, is it that hot in LA? Is it in, in this kind of attitude where you're just gonna take your side, even if the other person doesn't even know you 
and, and wouldn't ever think that way about you. But he wants, he wants the other guy's job. Yikes. And he's using his skin to the advantage. Yeah, that's why he was telling me in that one video, the F.U. Nazi cops, and he's re-explaining a story that happened here where the cops are coming after him because somebody called him in, probably a homeless person who was just tired of him. Because, yeah, he's like, he's a tyrant. He's noisy. He was by himself yesterday, and I believe I did a video where I was like, I can't sleep here because he's just... He's yelling like that all the time. I always, I believe, yes, I know. There's a video where I just go up to him and go, oh my God, is there, did you get in a fight? Like I heard you yelling. He, he, he yells always, he's telling a story about someone and using M, MF, he's like calling the boss right now. He's repeating the story. He's escalating, he's doing what the, He's doing what the algorithm wants. He's just gonna keep telling the story and getting clearer and clearer. Meanwhile, Pepe's just sick in, in bed. I'm gonna bring him this new thing. I don't know what it is. You Oh, you heard what it, it's gonna be good. Yeah, everything's good at the Delcita. It's so nice to have money. The last time I was going, I had to, you know, I felt bad. I'm like, oh man, I'm giving you this like 50 cent tip. I'm getting like one tiny little taco, you know, and it, it was really good. It was really filling. It was perfect. But when you have money, you can just go, I want to try something I've never had. I don't care if it's 10 bucks. Awesome. And then I'm going to give you five more bucks in the tip jar. Yeah. That's worth 15 bucks. Totally. But 15 bucks at a Taco Bell? You, have you seen the thing? And, and by the time you get it home, COVID times, that stuff's gross, right? You got to eat it right away. You got to be able, it, it would be great if like you could just party at a Taco Bell during COVID times, you know? Make that the one place. And yeah, those $15 trays would just be going through, but we can't do that. We're not a third world country. Yeah, too bad. It's that, it's, I mean, I understand there's all those bad things about a third world country. I, I, I wouldn't like them either. But it's just that they can always bend the rules. Like the, like the French will just sit down and not go back to work. Say it's about somebody. Tell them, you know, or they don't even know. Like the boss will know, yeah, they'll be back tomorrow. They allow it, but they'll make some big deal. But it's really just about sitting down and eating and with the cops too. And the cops get to find out what they're... You know, instead of making it that you just line all these soldiers, don't tell them the issue, don't tell them what's going on, you know, then they start spraying them. Yeah, that's starting to happen. So they started spraying these cops now for protesters, and protesters have started to wear these WTF experimental glasses. Yeah, that shit don't go in there. The mace, the whatever. Stick it on our heads, and at the same time, they film. Yeah, I know these are great glasses. I got the best key grip. Scott, I haven't heard from you for a long time, and I hope everything's okay. Um, but I think what you wanted was you wanted me to find out the secret of these glasses, and I kept saying they were all cheap, and then. Uh, I was saying, oh, it's cool, though, the, the copies. But then I went back and looked at all the accessories that I had been saying I'm never going to use them. And I saw there was, like, a hookup, and they film. Yeah. So I'm going to, once I can set up a computer, that's the next thing on the list, people, for the Cash App. If you put a put in a dollar... I will perhaps get a computer, and you won't have this long ass stuff. I will edit it right. I'll get it. I'll get a com green screen. I'll do everything you want afterwards. Make it look and sound perfect. But I need to see your effort for me to make an effort, because this is an effort what I'm doing. Believe it or not. Yeah. 
And the haters say, what are you doing? You, whoa, she is cool looking. She's got like the, the muck white hair. Oh, yeah, the punks. Or is that the evil tweakers? Dun, 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 dun. That has been, oh, I thought they disappeared. That has been the WTF Experiment Pirated Radio brought to you by the Slabsidians and the Slabanians. A mix of Santa Barbaric weirdness. Let's go learn what our food is. Shall we just go get it? Should we just do one long shot? No, I don't know. I don't think Instagram likes those really really long movies. So we're going to stop it here. If you put in the dollar, I will put find a way to make this natural lighting to make that food look so beautiful for you. And I will eat it and put perfect noises and put a little background music and describe it all like I'm Anthony Bourdain. Tell you a joke about it like I'm Anthony Bourdain, but very calmly say, key grips, I can see the camera, right? Can you tell me how to, <clears throat> like, how are these things gonna work? I can, when I'm breathing with this mask, it's, it's, it's gonna, <sighs> do you know that I see everything foggy and you're expecting me to do exposure with my irises, my pupils? I don't know. <clears throat> God, I'm going to go get another cigarette and eat some of this food. All right, guys. So you guys, everyone else on the team, the production team of the WTF experiment is happening here. And all of those who had to jump ship because of that pesky P.I. who now is not allowing us to open up our dream regal cleaners, which we will take down the soapy suds. Won't we? Peppy. That's right. Oh, you're back. You know, you want me to go get the food. All right. I'm going to, oh, you want me to do porn? All right. I'm going to, for you, Peppy. And for that reverse racism, I'm so sorry for that. I had to show you, though, right? He's talking like that when you're not there. And he doesn't know you. People shouldn't do that. That energy. And he's going to spend the whole day pretending to be friendly to these to this population that baby that's not good is it oh man you were here way before him i'm just saying in the city of santa barbara and and your family he came in maybe eight years ago you don't do that that's a tweaker thing. That's a tweaker move. He just wants more hours. But he's. But what I don't get is, like, you didn't do anything. It's just one machine, and he's, he's making it bigger. I'm... Oh, a good idea. We got to make sure that when there's no one in there, he doesn't start, you know, with a screwdriver scraping. Pepe was here. Oh, he's even doing this vandalism. Meanwhile, the higher-ups right there in New York, they don't even see any of this because they don't have security cameras. In there. Yeah, it's super safe. Don't worry. 24 hours. Well, he closes at one point when, when he decides to. Yeah, didn't let me use the bathroom. Got really scared. Don't worry. Nobody was letting me back then. Anyways, that, those are old stories. I can't believe it. The experiment's over. We gotta get back to the dead roommates. And we are going to do mute auditor. It's gonna be hard for me. Nah, there's a point. They're gonna give me a certain drug. They're called the perfect meds for what ails you. And I'm gonna be like, I'm going to be pretty quiet, but I'm going to be very healthy, mentally, everything stable. Court of law, they're going to be, yeah. He can't, can't say insanity. Thank you for 
working on that. It's going to be like that. I don't talk much. It's going to bring me back to my childhood. I was very quiet. I needed to hug people. I brought that up with my mom, getting, being like, why? Didn't feel like hugging her anymore. And it was always uncomfortable because as a kid, I would. And somehow, somehow in my environment, it got pushed out. And then they, they, accept, they expect you to always, if they get in a fight and all these people don't take their side and they all leave the house and they're not her friend anymore and I'm the one coming over and I right away give her a hug. Even though I think, you know, you deserved it. It's that thing. I would just, because I'm quiet. It, if I hadn't been quiet, I would have been like, well, you know, Mom, you were really asking for her. Why do you keep doing that like that? You know, And it spins it. Like, now, now that we're adults, I'm always bringing up something when I was really young. I mean, it's stuff you can't really... She can't really apologize for it. I'm there explaining, yeah, no, I know you had a lot of work. Or, you know, the husband was an alcoholic. I'm telling you the thing. I was there. I lived it. Mom, no, you know, just don't. And, and they're apologizing for it. No, but you know, he, there was an alcoholic in the house. You wouldn't be able to understand. No, Mom, I'm, I'm an alcoholic. So, yeah, I understand. And I was right there. And I got this accuse. I'd like to say another word, but... I can't say it because YouTube. I'm going to keep bringing that up, YouTube. And the T channels, just start saying the word. You can talk about it. Delete your channels. All you T channels, just delete. If you mentioned Lee in your production anywhere, just on one of them, delete your channel. Be part of the team. Be clean. Be clean with your ex. I haven't been. I haven't been. But I was doing a lot of yelling, right? And it didn't make any sense, so I erased it. That's cool. And I, it started to get really easy. And now I'm just erasing them. So I do hours of this, what we're doing now. I start to look at it. And, okay, ain't going to do it. I erase it. It's perfect. So it's making it so I won't feel bad when the higher up of YouTube finally comes to apologize. And I know he won't be able to tell me how, you know, to bring my kid back from the inappropriate grave that he put him in. Dalai Lama's going to tell me. Dalai Lama told me. He, he's, he, he's funny. He said, fuck those pricks. I got some friends. I'm going to send some bad karma their way. Yeah, friends, Dalai Lama. He's doing a reverse on you, like you're doing a reverse. And that just comes back around. We're all being racist people. We're all doing it. If if I go to a deli and they're telling me that Koreatown don't go there because we're in the purple of the COVID and, and thus cross-contamination. And it's like, no, you guys, you just not. Oh, my God. Everyone has all these beautiful qualities. Why did you do that to Los Angeles? It was never like that. And you're blaming it on the COVID, but no, the COVID just brought out what's really happening. Yeah. But that's great. It made it easy. It, it, it makes it easy for me that I'm just going to France and I can go to Spain and get the good tapas and not have some big old bodyguard in the front, not letting me film. Oh my God. You know, and make a hard, I'm gonna call the cops. It's always gonna be, I'm gonna call the cops. We're over there, the cops are, they'll come and then they'll take my side. Security guard, you're gonna be pounded. The cops don't like security guards, that kind. Now, if you're gonna be 
like what the Americans would say, some security guard, but he saves the day from all these terrorists. Yeah, that's in your dreams. We got to start thinking of getting out of here. What if we just cleared it out? Let all the Native Americans just dig up stuff from the pet cemetery around Carthago, California. Give it all back to Mexico. Give them Texas. Let's just try something really new and inventive, creative. Let's not just keep through the same path. Because it'll take too long for COVID to be really over. Right now we got to... We found out all the things that we thought we had to do to stay COVID-free were wrong. So let's just throw them out. And now let's try all the crazy things that the Lord has been saying on his channel for two years. Let's try it. Let's go with the simple thing. We just said we all need to watch the Seinfeld episode. Oh, God, everyone's going to hate this. Uh, Seinfeld episode where, you know... George, the protagonist George, he decides to do everything in his life differently because he thought if he, if everything he did thus far in the experiment was totally awful, didn't really do anything, why not now just do exactly the opposite just to see what happens? You know, cause and, re cause and effect. It is a writer's you know, creative stomping grounds up there. This cause and effect and these two characters and how they changed and how the protagonist just on his face in, in my movie, it always just said protagonist. So it, you couldn't hate him. He's not doing anything. And so people would comment as though they didn't like him or they would comment like, oh, that's really cool. But that's the, they would pick two sides. And they knew nothing about this protagonist, except that he's doing everything the opposite of what he used to do. So everything in the experiment and in the wedding films, and those of you playing the game, the Thomas Grant P.I., we can't say it anymore. You have to write it out, Private I, okay? From Lompoc. Always keep that so Google will be attached. Yes, I've been banned from Google. It, those are truths, and I have been, something's messed up. It's not the AOL email. <laughs> you guys will never be able to attack that. Yeah, that's why I kept it. You guys laughed at me back in the days that I kept the AOL. But now you guys don't know how to use Linux. Yeah, we use them for fun. I mean, we who do spam bait like we're doing here. All right, let's go get that food. Let's take off the glasses, though, and switch this the other way around, all right? Get ready for some porn, people, some food. Mm, from the Slabsinians and the Mexicans, the Latinos, they like to call themselves Americanos. Americanos, though, if you get that in French, fries in France, it's a, it's a really good squished into this toaster-like grilled panini bread sandwich. You could get it on any corner. Super cheap. They got another one. They just stick a hot dog in there. Super fresh. They give it to you. Super cheap. Now here, I went to this place in L.A. where it's this fantastic since the 1950s with all these reviews. And it was this hot dog it was disgusting and then i've been to this other italian place that would be like 20 bucks and it's just it's fake italian it's not what they say it's american it's this weird panini don't you guys want the real thing let's get out of here man let's get out of here they got it's all what if it's carcinogen then let's get out of here it's got to be them if there's too many MSGs, if there's too many MG Sims, whatever these things that gluten, whatever. It's not our fault. And that's what I feel there. I'm really worried for you in slaps. I believe that it's a water issue, this sickness that was going around. Like, I know there was labeling, but in the end, come on. That was all that's left. It's just you, the liquid, your body. It's mostly liquid. You've... There's nothing else for you to sweat out. It's just going to, you got to keep it circulating. If you only got your pee to drink, 
help, right? It, it doesn't make sense that you you went through the detox and then they're shoving through the water this WTF experiment product. So watch out for... I've been subliminally showing you this one. Yeah, it's... it. They just say, no, it's good. It's, it's, it's fruits. It's, I don't know what some of the chemicals are in there. They didn't tell me. They wouldn't explain it. And this one, I just go for that. I think it's just psychological that they're going rock star. To recover. You tell me. Check the coordinates. All right, you guys. Thank you for letting me do a complete... I probably won't upload this. But this is the first one that I've been trying. If you see it now on Instagram, it was a real effort. I've done a whole day of just hours and hours and then deleting and of doing this. Live streaming. All right. We will save the day. I know there's something good in the beginning. I know that that for my lawyers, if you're watching, he's totally losing it. And you just have to look at the other videos. You always hear his voice in all my other videos. At any time of day, that guy's just like, he's rude. People, if you want rudeness, dial the 411 and say, please help me information. And they will be set. Hang up and dial 911. Have a nice day.